where is she? And let me share my screen. Gather. What are you doing there? All right, here we go. Where are you? There you are. Okay. Uh, all right, laptop. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. So here is the class. I think most of you guys have logged in. I've gotten quite a bit of work. Some of you guys have actually turned in the uh, the point, the review problems. Those are not going to be necessarily easy. So don't freak out, right? And and it's not due yet. I haven't actually put a due date on it. I probably should do that. Here, let me do that right now. Why do I have stuff coming at me? So this is the modules. This is a great place to go. Let me become a student for a minute. So it looks like what you're going to see. If you haven't logged in the Canvas yet, uh, do it, right? If you're not sure how to log into Canvas, maybe stay after class and, I, and I'll show you how to get in there, okay? Um, but hopefully this looks familiar, right? So you do have to kind of work these out in order. Um, I did add a little something that we're gonna do in a little bit. Human bingo sounds interesting. Uh, what I wanna do is I'm kind of wasting time a little bit for more people to get here too, but let me make a due date for this. I don't know why I'm gonna let you guys see this happen. So this is the very first real assignment is this 0.5 review. Um, I'm gonna make it do, let's make it do at the end of the week. I like it. No, Jeff, go away. Bam, okay. Yay. So I, I, during class, if you are, uh, if you want to ask a question, you can either just uh, physically raise your hand if I can see you. You Does everybody know how to raise their hand on the, uh, oh, let me do this too. It's all about me. Bam. Uh, does everybody know how to raise their hand? Can everybody go ahead and raise your hand on the, on the, um, on the Zoom? Not like this. There we go. I got one hand up. If you're not sure how to do that, oh, somebody's clapping at me. Thank you so much. Oh, there comes some hands. If you're not sure how to do that, there's a participants button at the bottom of the screen. I'm not sure what it looks like on the phone, to be honest. I don't remember that. Um, and if you click participants, you'll see everybody that's in here right now. And if you hover over your name, you can raise your hand. I think if you hover over your uh, picture, you could do that too, right? Whenever I'm the host, I always forget everything about it, what, what it looks like when you're not the host. Okay. Some of you guys still haven't raised your hand. All right. All right. Okay. So uh, if you're not still sure how to raise your hand, you could always type a question into chat. Um, let me see if some people still raise your hand. All right. So everybody see where chat is? There's a chat button at the bottom. Um, if you're really, really, really shy, you can private message me a question, right? You guys with me? If you don't wanna let anybody else know what your question is, which doesn't make sense to me, but it's okay. If you have a question, at least 12 other people have the same question, always and forever. That's true. Uh, all right, how are we doing so far? Any questions so far, you guys? Okay, especially my newbies, my first time online lecture people. I don't feel any pressure at all, <laughs> by the way. Yay. I'm gonna be the one that sets the bar. Sorry? Good, what? Yes? I have a feeling that's not intentional. Is that, was somebody talking to me? Cause I couldn't really, I muted everybody. Is somebody trying to talk to me? All right. So far, this is fantastic. All right, now, <laughs> so. <laughs> It's okay. Go ahead. My name is Brenda Howard. Hey, Brenda. Where hey. are you? There you are, I think. Right here. So what's going on? You doing okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Oh, good. All right. I was good. just letting you know I was in class. I got you. I'm going to take roll here in a minute. Uh, okay. I appreciate that. Okay. All right. Now, now. Uh, let's see, let's come back to this real quick. I wanna show you a couple other things. 
if you do not yet have the book, and I'm very sorry uh, that I couldn't find a free textbook for this course. Most of my classes have a free textbook now, and this is one of the few that I can't find a good one for. Um, what I've done, here, let me become a student again. So when you're ready to turn in homework, there are these modules at the bottom, turn in chapter one homework here, right? If you click on section one, one, I actually have a copy, a screenshot of section one, one homework. So if you don't have the book yet, you can just go there and do it. It, it kind of sucks to not have the book because then you can't read the examples and so forth, but at least you have a copy of the homework up there. You guys with me and I've got a copy of one, 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 two, one, three, one, four. And which makes sense because that's the homework that's going to be on the first quiz. After that, I'm not doing it anymore. So up to that point, you better get your book from somewhere. And I desperately try to show you guys, uh, probably the best way to do it is to rent or buy an ebook. I think it costs about 30 bucks. I was going over that earlier with somebody else on Amazon. It's about 30, 33 bucks, which isn't horrible. It's not free, but it's not horrible. Um, I've got an ebook on my Kindle, on my laptop that I'm gonna share during class and when we have to look at the book together, right? So I bought it, ooh, it was 33 bucks. Um, could be a lot of money, but it's not as much as normal, but it's more than I wanna make my students pay, but oh well, it's where we are, okay. Um, let me see, what else did I wanna show you? Do, do. I think most of you guys might have done this, by now, yeah, let me become not a student anymore. Uh, have you guys watched the video about the syllabus? <laughs> Hopefully, no, it's a really good thing to do. <laughs> well, number one is you have to do this before you can do this first assignment. So it's really smart to do it. Uh, let me see, somebody's chatting at me. Yes, okay. Uh, so I go over the syllabus here so we don't have to waste time in class doing it. Um, if you have questions, you can always ask me but this is a good thing to watch. And then let me know if you still have questions. Uh, I, I even have this, which if, if you haven't seen this yet, you're kind of getting a, a crash course. This is how to Zoom, right? Uh, and some of you guys are veterans of that. So you don't have to worry about watching that really if you've already done this a lot. Um, okay, let me stop sharing. Let me try to take roll. Um, this will be the one time I'm gonna do this. I pretty much use the um, Zoom kind of collects the roster of people that showed up the class. So I can kind of check that for role, but I, I just want to call it out today. Um, let me see, where, where did I put you? There it is. So everybody just bear with me as we do this. Uh, Bushra, let me see, Bushra, Alazawi, are you there? Is that who said yes? I don't know. Bushra Alazawi, I don't see you. Bushra, going once, going twice. No Bushra. How about Hiba? Hiba? There you are. Okay. And then Baha, I was talking to you earlier. Uh, Kudsia, is that how you say it? Kudsia? Kudsia? I don't see you. Let's see. No, could see a could see a going once. Could see a Amiri. Okay, uh, Trisha, voice. I know you're there. I think I saw you a minute ago. Oh, okay, understood, Trisha. Uh, genius, Brian. I think I see you. Where'd you go? There you are. Hey, man. Uh, David. Conjura, sorry, David Conjura, I heard you, yes, all right. Uh, Carrie, I think I saw you out there, Carrie Dumas. There you are, okay. Uh, uh, Wafa, I was just talking to you, so you're there, yes. Mohammed, uh, uh, is it Fathalahi, Fathalahi? I am, sir. Mohammed, hey, did I kill you, did I do horrible in your last name? It's Fatullahi, F-A-T-H-O-L-L-A-H-I. Fatullahi? Fatullahi, yes. Okay. Right. okay, I'll do my best. 
Thank you. <laughs> uh, Thanks. Fantasia, I think I saw you. Here. All right, thank you. Quincy Gaines, that sounds familiar. There you are, Quincy, thank you. Anthony Gardina, I think you're one of my, is that you? Anthony? Anthony Gardina going once, going twice. Okay, Tristan Gray, Tristan. Here. Hey, thank Hi. you. Are you Tristan? Is that who you were? Yes, thank you. Uh, uh, all right, here we go. Ashalia, Ashalia Hairston Brown, Ashalia, Ashalia. No, okay. Uh, let's see, Devin Harris. Devin. I'm here. Hey, Iman Hayawi. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Sorry? Yes, professor. Okay, thank you, thank you. Uh, Melissa Hillegas. Melissa, no? I don't see her, okay. Uh, Brenda Howard. Brenda Howard. I'm here. Hey, Brenda, that's right. Andrew Hurst. I'm here. There you are. Carlos Ibarra. Carlos, no. Let me see if I see Carlos. I don't see Carlos, no. Uh, Alariza Isvand. Hey, there you are. Okay, thank you. Kawakeb Kadim. Kadim. Is that how you say? Okay, thank you. Who keeps unmuting themselves? All right, let's all stay muted. There we go. Uh, is it uh, Zaidi or Zaidi Kennedy? Um, Zaidi. Zaidi, okay. <laughs> Sabrina, Lad, Sabrina. Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Also, also, I have another question. Yes. I can't find the video for the syllabus. Oh, where do right. I find well, it? Let me show you. Let me finish this real quick, and then I'll and then okay. I'll show you. Uh, Ethan, Leal, you. Yeah. Thank you. Kyle Looney. Yeah, I'm here. Thank you. Daniela Martinez. Daniela Martinez. I don't see Daniela. Okay. Uh, Tristan McKee. There Here. you are. Thank you, Guillermo. Mondragon? Yo. Guillermo, thank you. Irina Wynn? Here. All right, see, this is how it should be going. Phoebe Wynn? Here. All right. Patrick Ran? Here. There we go. Christina Rios? Christina, are you there? I see you. You're there. Here. There you are, okay. Amanda, uh, is it Robles or Robles? Yeah, perfect. Robles. Yeah. All right. I remember that name, Robles. Uh, Adeline Rodriguez. Here. Okay. Caitlin Roy. Here. Yeah. Jackson Satterland. Here. Yeah. Ahmad Siddiqui. Ahmad. Here. That's you? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's me. Thank you. Shabana, I think I heard from you, Shabana. Sabi? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Cynthia, I was talking to you earlier. St. John, right? I believe. I don't know if I trust my, is she still here? No, Cynthia St. John. Oh yeah, she's gonna check in, okay. Uh, Razia? I'm here. Okay. Alicia Tanner. Alicia. No go. Okay. Christian Ray Thompson. Here. Ku. Megan Wheeler. Here. There she is. And uh, Macaulay Whittle. It's Macaulay. Macaulay. Okay. Here. Thank you. 
Anybody didn't call? Anybody here that I didn't call your name? Okay. All right, so I know that was really exciting, sorry. But that served a dual purpose for me to find out who's here and for me to make sure you guys all know how to communicate with me somehow <laughs> on Zoom. Um, so one of the first things I wanna do before we do anything, well, I, let me actually answer that question before I forget. How do you find the video for, uh, uh, what do you call it, the syllabus? So is everybody able to make it to the modules section, right? So right here is unit zero. You have to work through this step by step. So you have to f watch my video introduction. You don't actually have to watch it, but you know, maybe watch it. And then finally you make it to the syllabus thing right here. Do you see that? So if you march your way through this unit, you're gonna make it through the syllabus. And then this is your first real assignment. The practice scan is sort of an assignment. Okay, I like it. The practice scan was for me to make sure that you guys pick a decent app or have a decent method so that I can actually read what you've done. Because <laughs> if I can't see what you've done, everything goes to shit. Um, I like it. By the way, I do sometimes cuss. Let me know if a little kid is there with you. <laughs> I don't want, I could try to, I could try to tame my language down a little bit. Uh, so if I offend you, just wait a minute, I'll probably do it again. Um, there you go. Most people understand that's fine. All right, uh, let me see. Was there something else I wanna show you? No. So let's do this. Any other, any other technical questions or general questions? Anybody? Yes, please. I have yeah. a question. Go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Yes. Uh, last week and yesterday at night, I spoke with the bookstore about the book, and they said you have to talk with your teacher because we don't have any name of the book for this class. So please, can you send something or the name of the book to bookstore because I have EOPS to pay for me? That's exactly why I did. Uh, I can double check to make sure why they're saying they don't have it. Did anybody else see the bookstore information for the book or does everybody else have the book somehow? No? All right. I thought for sure I double checked this. I had to do my practice scan before the videos. Oh yeah, exactly. So, so, You've gotta, yeah, sorry. The book information, it's in the class but it's not at like the bookstore. So people who have like their books paid for them by like PCG or anything like that, they wind up not being able to get their book until they have something from the professor. Well, that doesn't make any sense. All right. It doesn't make any sense at all. <laughs> all right. But, uh, they never said there was an issue like that. Uh, so that's, I'm really sorry. That's my, I'm gonna take full responsibility for that. I thought for sure I double checked it was in the bookstore. Because I know exactly that. Some of you guys get uh, assistance and you can't use the assistance unless it's in the bookstore. Uh, and it shows up. Whoa, <laughs> that's all. Shaboo. So right now, I, I, I don't understand this. So when you go to the bookstore, you don't see this? Really? No, Professor. No, and, no. and also in the my textbook, in the web advisor, we didn't see any name for your book. All right, you ready? Only from your email. Re are you ready? So I'm not logged in as an instructor. I am just Joe Schmo. And you've been to this site here, right? I guess. Yes. Yeah, I went to that site and I tried to get the book and it said it was $55. They tried to charge me $140. That's the bookstore. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, I would only, and, and it says from 55. Now, the 55 is okay, if you want to rent it. It says use book 98. They try to charge me for a new one for 130. Gotcha, gotcha. It all depends on if they actually have used books. Now, stay with me, everybody. Stay with me. I, I really hate that I could not find a free textbook for this course. I really hate that. Teacher, uh, I downloaded the free now. Say, say again, sorry. I downloaded the book for free from Candle, Candle site. 
You downloaded the book for free from, from where? Yes, from Candle, Candle the site. Candle site. You downloaded it for free. Free, yes, in my okay. phone now. Candle. Yeah. Kindle. That's how yes. I have it on my laptop. Kindle site. All right, guys. Guys, Kindle is the app through Amazon yeah. for reading books. This is news to me that it's free. So I it's am not, free. I'm not uh, saying that's good, true. But you can check it for out. me. Sure. I love you guys. Let's all let's, let's, let's stick with it. It's, it's from free. Amazon. It's not free on Amazon. It costs you $30. It costs exactly. you $33. Thank it, you. you probably had to pay for it or you got a free trial. You might, exactly. I don't know. I didn't realize they might give a free trial for this, which means you probably couldn't see all the book. You, normally for free trials, you can't see the entire book. You can only see like the first few pages. Everybody stay with me. All right, I'm right. muted everybody. All right, stay with me, stay with me. Uh, the book's not free, I'm sorry. Uh, if I were you, I would get the Kindle book or, or an ebook for $33 through Amazon. You could possibly find a used option for less, uh, but used books come with certain things. You know, there might be some writing in the books. There could be some missing pages. You never know. Um, what are you showing me, Baja? Sorry. Hold on, hold it right there. Okay, all right, all right. Uh, hold on, let me see. How do I get out of here now? All right, there we go. Let me spotlight me again. All about me. Yay. All right. So if you need some one-on-one -on -one help with the book, just let me know. Okay. I tried to get this information out far before the semester started. So everybody could try to find the book as cheap as you can. I'm sorry it's not free. I'm trying. But 33 bucks compared to normal textbook price is pretty good. Uh, if you do have trouble, just let me know. I can set aside time and work with you one-on-one -on, -one on getting the book, like I said in my earlier emails. Um, is everybody with me so far? The I've copied, like I said, in the homework sections, I've put the copies of the homework for the first four sections up there. So you do have a little bit of time before you're gonna need the book for yourself. Uh, Iman, did you have a question? Yes, Sorry. please. Just, just send the information about the book to, to bookstore, and I will appreciate because I don't know anything about online to Amazon or I how I can do that. Please help me for this one. Um, all right. Because I call with with the counseling too last since two three days ago. So they said uh, you have to talk with your professor because if he don't send the information about this book into bookstore, I can't do anything for you. I understand. But like I showed you, I'm going to email the bookstore directly. So when I can check the bookstore to see? How? I don't know. <laughs> I. All right. I really hope you guys understand. I'm going to do everything I can. I'm not in charge of the bookstore. I did send them the information. I showed you it's up there. And Everybody in the world should be able to see what I saw because I wasn't logged in as an instructor. I was just I was just a person in, in the world. Let me, I, I, let me mute everybody. Can everybody stay muted? Uh, all right, we're going to do this. We're going to do this. So in general, stay muted unless you have a question, right? Uh, otherwise, we get all the background noise. Um, uh, now, stay with me. So again, if you need individual help with the book, let me know. The bookstore thing, I'm going to email them uh, in a minute. I'm actually going to have you guys working on something in a minute. And while you guys are working, I'm going to email them and let them know. I don't understand. I'm not, I, I don't really understand because I can see it. So I don't know why it's, it's not showing up for you. Um, so I'll do what I can. If, if you... Uh, yeah, okay, I'll, I'll see what they say. I'll let them know some students are not able to see it. What can the students do? And I'll let you know what I hear back, okay? Uh, but it's there, it, it's up there. I saw it on the textbook site through Grossmont. So I'm not sure what the issue is on your side. Yes, go ahead. Just to be, to be everything to clear, this one you show to us the, the book for, uh, for $55. I have nothing in my web advisor. So that's why I can't find it. 
nothing I in have your just the square, but no book, no name, no the price, no anything. This means like is not required. Every time we go to a web advisor and check, I have nothing like this one. And my friend yesterday, they know how they do that. And they said, you don't have this not required. I said, no, I have. My teacher said, you have to buy this one. All right. All right. All right. Trisha, what's up? OK, so in your um, course modules for this course, you can actually print out the like introduction to this class and it I believe it's on the introduction the name of this book and you can give it to your worker and you can get a letter from your professor which is right here I know that it's not registered on the bookstore right now but you could do it that way as well and you can keep a receipt for the book that you purchase uh, because there is an IBSN number and then they can reimburse you the money instead of directly paying for the book. All right. So let me, I'm going to request your help. I'm going to, this is the last thing we'll talk about, about this right now. I want to show you one thing again. And then, like I said, I'll email the bookstore. Apparently there's an issue, but um, just stay with me. You have been to this website, correct? Everybody that's, that's having issues. So I am not logged in. I'm not an instructor. I'm just a person in the world. So when I hit find textbooks and I put our class information in, I do get, you could do it, Jeff. Give it to me. Oh yeah, 96. I do get results. I, I, I can, so you're saying you can't see this when you do that? Is that what you're saying? Uh, so they actually don't go by the class. They go into your own specific, um, if you don't mind, may I share my screen? Right, where are you going to take them? So I'm just going to take you to my bookstore. To, to your bookstore? All right, everybody. I, I This isn't my bookstore. This is the, this is the, link from the main Grossmont website, right? So let me go back. Bookstore right here, right? This is everybody. so everybody's bookstore. Um, but what I don't understand, stay with me now. You guys are like, oh. The one thing I didn't think necessarily would happen today, I thought it would be my Wi-Fi that went out, but it's the textbook. Um, everybody, if you go here, I, it would not make, it makes the least sense to me in the universe that you do not get the same results I do when I type in all the stuff for this class. There's this class, right? So what you're telling me that when you hit this button, it comes up empty? Is that what you're telling me? You don't see this? Because I'm not logged in special. This isn't me logged in special. This is what everybody in the universe will see when they do that. Right? Is that when I go on the website, I see this book. Thank you. Thank you. Me too. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Okay. So I, so then I really, so then you said something about web advisor. Now this is the part that I'm not uh, as sure about. So when you go to web advisor and you look up this class, it shows you um, textbook information. Is that what you're saying? Or it's supposed to? Is that supposed to be here somewhere? Let's see. Use my textbook links. So, oh, I see. So you're saying in your web advisor, your my textbook link is empty. Is that what you're saying? Oh. That's Correct. completely out of my control. Yes, you're right, teacher. Mm -hmm. I got you. I got you. Now I know who to email. It's not the bookstore. I've got an email IT. So they have made a mistake. And that is something I wouldn't even think to check because that's supposed to be a direct link with the bookstore. But I don't know how they can make that mistake. Now I know who to email. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for your patience, everybody. <laughs> um, uh, 
Uh, so, all right, so let's do this. All right, Th this has been way, I'm so excited that I'm, I'm recording this. This is awesome. We can have this for posterity. Months from now, we'll say, remember that? <laughs> all right, so here's what we're gonna do. Uh, what I wanna, can everybody just kind of release that for right now? I'm gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. Uh, just let that go. Um, what I wanna do right now is let you guys talk to each other a little bit. So if you're not ready for that, too damn bad. Uh, has anybody experienced breakout rooms you know, on Zoom? A few of you guys. Some yeah, of you guys hate it. Uh, it's sort of like working in groups. It's that whole thing about you hate it, but you also kind of love it. Come on, you got to agree with me. I mean, no. Um, if you're here to not meet anybody, we're not going to do this a lot. I will do breakout rooms sometimes. We're not going to do it all the damn time, right? Because I appreciate that some people just work by themselves better. But one thing that's missing from Zoom courses instead of in-classroom is the student-to-student -student interaction, right? So I do wanna to try to bring that in. So what we're gonna do, is everybody able to access Canvas right now in some way? Could everybody access Canvas right now? Oops, what's up, Meg, you got your hand um, up? Yeah, so I can't oh. yet. Um, it, I. I was able to get into the class and I got an email, you know, cause I was on the wait list, but I still can't get into Canvas. And they said it could be anywhere from four to 24 hours um, before I can. Weird, when did you enroll in the class? Literally it enrolled me automatically this morning. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. So it does take, I think it's 1 p.m. It's like 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. or okay. something weird that it rolls you into Canvas. So. And I went on and there's, and like, I know how to get on, but there's nothing there. It says I'm not registered for any classes. So I confirmed. Yeah, so it's not, yeah, it hasn't made the yeah. link yet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guillermo, are you in the same boat or what's up? Guillermo? You have your hand up? No, oh. no, I just had my hand up as in like, I could see. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, thanks. Just, yeah. Thank you. So real quick, uh, whoever I was just talking to, um, can you copy this down for yourself very quickly or, or take a screenshot? Maybe I can pull it up here better. Let me pull it up here better. So everybody, if you go to, um, I'm gonna pull this up better for you, okay? If you go to Canvas, go to modules, in unit one, the very first thing is called human bingo, right? Um, there are other words that can come after human that would be much worse than bingo, but it's still weird enough, human bingo. So if you can't access it, great. You can print this out if you want to, or you can just have it up on your, on your uh, screen. So let me, let me share it in a better, well, let me see. This is not too terrible. So if, you don't, if you're not able to access Canvas, maybe you can very quickly write these down. So it's sort of like bingo card, right? Uh, each of your classes has a different way to do this kind of thing. I just want to let you guys talk with each other a little bit to start with. Is everybody with me? Okay. I almost jinxed myself. I almost said something about something else going wrong. And the minute I say it, it's going to happen. So I'm not going to say it. Uh, let's see. There we go. All right, how's everybody doing? You guys getting this down? And again, if you can access Canvas, you don't need to copy this down. Just go to Canvas, get the human bingo. Human bingo. Okay, so as you guys copy this down, the way this is gonna work, I'm gonna put you into breakout rooms with about three or four other people. Uh, you're gonna kind of introduce yourselves and you're gonna try to figure out if somebody's left-handed in your group, you can put their name down where it says is left-handed. Are you guys with me? Uh, and then, and if you uh, are taking an English class this semester, you can say, oh, I'm taking an English class this semester. My name is blah, 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 right? I don't think I have anybody named blah, 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 but you never know. All right, all right. 
Uh, and then I'm going to do that a few more times. going to break you up, break you up, break you up. And then we'll see who's got the most uh, squares filled in, right? Or these are more rectangular, but we'll be all right. Who has the most quadrilaterals filled in? Do we fill it out like on a paper or? Either, any way you want to do it. So you can keep it up on your screen and just uh, have a paper. You can write on your screen if you want to, if you got that ability. Is everybody with me? You don't, if you want to print it out real quick, you can print it out real quick. It's up to you. Mostly this is just to meet other people and discuss weird topics like, um, I don't know, has been to a tropical island. That's not too weird. All right. What kind of weird tattoos people have, right? Okay. So everybody got that? If you're if you're copying, has everybody got that? All right. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and break us up. Break us up into rooms. What's gonna happen if you've never experienced this before? In a minute, you're gonna see a link on your screen. It's gonna say uh, you're in breakout room one or you're in breakout room six or whatever. You just click on the link and you'll be taken into a room with a few other people. Right? Uh, don't freak out. <laughs> And once you're in the room, you do have the ability to call me in. So if I break people up into rooms and we're working on an assignment, you can call me into the room if you need help, right? So here we go. I'm gonna, here we go. Let me create these rooms real quick. Let me see, let me make, uh, oh shit. Yeah, there we go. Let me make 10 rooms. All right, you, you should see a link. Go to the link and start talking to people. And then I'm gonna give you maybe a couple minutes and then I'm gonna shuffle everybody around. Okay, here we go. So click on that link that you see on your screen. Oh, I guess it can stop. So let me ask everyone. Was that a Star Trek reference I just heard? Of course it was. Oh my gosh, was that a Star Trek reference? Yes. Oh my gosh. Thank you. You are now my new favorite teacher. So thank you for that one. I love the Star Trek. I love the Star Wars. Uh, the Star Wars universe. Let me make sure. Not necessarily all the movies. Mm. Um, Not the new movies. Mm. All right. <laughs> mm. All right. So who had, let's, let's start, let's start low. Oh yeah, go ahead. If you got to head out, I'm with you. Um, who had six, anybody had six boxes filled in? With a name, six. Yeah. How about seven? Yeah. Seven boxes. Yes. How about eight? Eight boxes filled in. Anybody have eight boxes? Ethan, you have eight boxes. And Irina, whoa. How about nine? Anybody have nine boxes filled in? Nine. So I think Do we count if we repeated if we repeated people, or does that not count? I'm pretty sure it said on the instructions not to, did it? Oh gosh, I forgot to look at the instructions. Sure. Um, my bad. I forgot, I forgot like to three. point them out. So, all right. So it looks like. How about anybody have over ten boxes filled in? How many boxes were there? I didn't even count. All right, all right. So obviously, you're not going to win a big prize from me if you got a lot of boxes filled in. I'm sorry if you were expecting it. You're not going to get my kick-ass shirt, athletic party. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, anyway, so hopefully that was good. I because. I, I am going to lecture a lot. I am going to talk a lot and that kind of sucks. And it's nice to interact with other people because as you can see, we all have very different backgrounds culturally, mathematically, academically in all the different ways. So that is what I hate is missing in the online environment is you can't have that five minutes before class to talk to other people and stuff and then work in groups and whatever. Uh, that's really missing here unless you try to force it in. Um, before we leave, because it's almost time to go already, uh, I do want to talk a little bit about order of operations, which is related to the, the, the problem that was on the practice scan. So if you're curious about what you got wrong, if you didn't get that thing right, let's talk about that right now. Uh, we're going to get into more pure math stuff tomorrow. Today, you can tell what my focus was for today, plus learning what's wrong with my book. That was a big thing too for me. Now, um, I invested in this and I'm so happy I did. I love having an actual whiteboard. Um, 
Let's see if these pins work. I know I'm probably not showing my whiteboard. Hold on. Let me rearrange my camera. Does anyone know order of operations? Does anyone know anything about order of operations? What do you guys know? Uh, PEM does. That's, it, right? That's good. No. Let me just tell you this. This is a bad way to write. Uh, because has anyone ever had a teacher that told you that multiplication comes before division? End of story. All right. Those teachers need to stop. They need to get a different job. They need to relearn if they want to be a math teacher. Maybe go take some basic courses. They suck. They just suck. I'm going to figure it out, right? Sorry? Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, real quick, it could have been called this, and it would have been... Which one of these is easier to say? PEMDAS. But it could have been PEDBASA, right? But then you sound like you're drunk. I'm going to use PEDBASA. So the way I like to write this is, what do these uh, letters represent? What is P? Parentheses. Parentheses. Exponents. Exponents. MD. Multiplication division. Division. <laughs> As subtract. As subtract. This is the best way to write it because these two are on the same level. Neither one comes before the other necessarily. They just happen in the order they're written. That is one of the biggest mistakes people make. Is the biggest one I see is they make division last. Is division last? What's at the ass end of PEMDAS? Addition, subtraction. So division is not always last. That's not the way it works. So let's see this thing in action. Let's see. So what is the saying, by the way? Parentheses. No, no, no. My dear Aunt Sally. Please excuse okay. my dumbass son. I'm sorry. <laughs> it could, or please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. I'll see if anybody drops my class today. <laughs> All right, now. Let's try this out. Uh, let's try something not too crazy. Uh, uh, tell him I'm in class. Uh, there we go. Okay. What does that dot mean right there? Divide. I mean, multiply. Multiply. Well, it doesn't mean 2.7, right? You can see that it's up here in the middle. So that means multiply. Why don't we use this symbol for multiply anymore? Because because algebra. Because algebra. I love because it. Algebra. That's a beautiful. Because algebra. Because it looks like the variable x, right? Exactly. So don't use this to mean times. There's only one time we use it to mean times, and that is something called scientific notation. We'll learn that later. Don't worry about it. That's the only time it's used for multiplication. Because otherwise it's very confusing, right? Now, stay with me. How do I do this problem? What would I do first? You divide. Good. What do I do last? What's the very last thing I'm going to do in this problem? Subtract. Subtract. How do I know it's the last thing? Because it's at the ass end of PEMDAS, right? So yeah. What is happening? Oh. So identify what you're going to do last. And let that There's hang out. Everybody mute. I don't want to know about the president's uh, point of view. Uh, four divided by two is two. That's crazy. And now I still have to do multiplication. Two times seven. 14. <clears throat> 14 minus one, 13. So the biggest mistake I see is people do two times seven first. And then what's four divided by 14? Ugh, gross, right? Or they do seven minus one. No. So PEMDAS is the grammar of mathematics. That's why it's so difficult. What's the worst thing about an, a, a learning a different language? You might think it's the vocabulary, but that's just memorization. Grammar of a different language is horrendous, right? Especially if you're somebody who had to learn English second or third, you know what I'm talking about. English grammar is weird compared to other languages for sure. All right, you guys know what I'm talking. So math is a different language. 
this is its grammar is PEMDAS, right? Uh, let's try a more complicated problem. Uh, uh, sure, I like it. Ooh, that's gross. My pen is dying. Are you better? A little bit? All right. Parentheses. Good, yeah. All right. One thing I see is people try to square these. That doesn't make any sense. What am I squaring? Well, I'm squaring whatever this is. And what is that? What's next? Parentheses. Spinach. Sorry. The exponent. Exponents. I like it. So two squared. Now, now here's another place where people get a mistake. What is the operation right here? What's this operation? Multiplication. Multiplication. So whatever you do here, this multiplication still has to be true. The so two squared is four, and it still says five minus four times this, and then it's divided by eight times two. You guys understand? So the, the less comfortable you are, the less you should do each step. If you are really uncomfortable, you should do one thing, everything else the same, one thing, everything else the same. Don't try to do multiple things at once if you're not that comfortable. There's no 16 up here, for example. Now, now real quick. Does anyone really, really want to make this 16? Like, like you can't stop yourself? So here's why this is not 16. Where's the eight? Is it up top or down below? What is, isn't it, it, what's the only thing being divided in this whole thing? Four divided by eight. The eight? Yeah. So that would be underneath. The four. So this would actually, this little piece, I could rewrite it like this. Five minus four times four divided by eight times two. How the heck would that make 16? They're not on the same level. Does that make sense? So that is one reason why we don't do multiplication first. It wouldn't be fair. The four is only being divided by, not that. It's not even four. What is it really? Five minus <laughs> no, no, no. It's Six, 16. 16. 16. <laughs> yeah. this is fine. You're okay. Now's the time to make mistakes because I ain't grading nobody right now. So might as well get them out your system. 16 divided by 8. 2. 2. And remember, a subtraction is the last thing. Do you, you see how this guy just keeps coming for the ride? He's like 5 minus what? Get your act together, get your act together. What the shit, what the shit. All right, finally, I know five minus four, and I get one. One. Say again, sir. Is everybody good? Let me show you one more. What time we got? Oh yeah, we got time. Let me show you the trickiest one. And it's gonna, it's gonna look really simple, but it's tricky. I'm going to erase all this. I kind of always liked the way this went. All right, here we go. Here we go. I'm going to erase all this. This is tricky. Believe it or not, it's really tricky if I try to do that. Exponents first. No exponents, right? So is it just 16 divided by 16? You, you want to do, you want to multiply the, if I'm not mistaken, you want to do like the four times four and then the four times four and then divide it by. You are mistaken, I'm sorry. So I really want you guys to be with me on this. This is not meant to be tricky. This might be tricky because some of you guys told me that some of your teachers made it sound like multiplication becomes before division. That is false. You do it as it comes. That's why it's on the same level. They're on the same level. Neither one is more important than the other one. So who gets to go first? Whichever one comes before the other one. So what's four times four? 16. What's 16 divided by four? 
Four. 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 And what's four times four? 16. Okay, so it's not one. It is definitely not one. Another reason that so many people think division comes last is because of this problem. Is, is everybody semi cool with this? Can you do another like um, question like that similar? Let me do, let me do one thing. Um, I'm gonna erase this, here we go. Oh. Is everybody with me? Everybody ready? Uh, so now the reason we think that division comes last is because of a problem like this. What do you got, Jeff? Sure. In this problem, what will definitely come last? Divide. Addition. Division. How would you write this oh, okay, in a yeah. single? How would I write this in a single line? Like if I start, if I do this, what have I done wrong? You forgot the parentheses. Yes, there are always understood parentheses when I make a big ass division sign. There's an understood parenthesis, understood parenthesis. That is the only reason division is last because it's outside of the parentheses, right? Parentheses make those things go first. Poor little, and this is the only time division will be last, but our brains say, Divisions last sometimes, so therefore it's always last. No, we know it's not at the end of PEMDAS. How are you guys, you guys with me a little bit? Now, uh, so this problem, of course, would be six divided by six. Woo! Okay, I like it. Let me show you, let's see. Here's something that's got a physical interpretation that's really easy to get. Let's say I've got 10 bucks and uh, I lose 15 or I owe somebody $15, but then I find uh, $20. I should still have money left over at the end of that physical situation, right? If I have $10, I owe somebody 15 and I find 20. 15. No. Well, yes, yes, I'm with you. <laughs> I see what you did. You got all the ammo. So what do I do? Uh, the big mistake people make when they see this is they think addition comes before subtraction. So the mistake they'll do is sort of related to the mistake people did with four times four divided by four times four. They do negative, they do 15 plus 20. And somehow they owe somebody 25 bucks. I'm like, that can be me. You owe me 25 bucks. Why not? When really you should do this as it comes because this is on the same level. So what's 10 minus 15? Negative five. Negative five plus 20. Five. 15. And this is where the 15. 15. I like it. Nice. So that's a nice real world situation that's captured by the math that shows you why you don't do the letters like this. You guys with me, all right. And again, just to remind you guys something about this class, there are very different math backgrounds in this class. I think I've, I wrote this on some people's practice scans. One of my favorite things to say in class is, if I'm going too fast, slow me down. If I'm going too slow, deal with it. Does everybody understand that? Do not let me steamroll you, right? If nobody's saying anything, I do have a tendency just to kind of keep going, keep going. If I do something that doesn't make sense, let me know immediately. My job is to answer your questions, but to also keep the class on pace. So don't feel like you have to censor yourself. If I'm getting too bogged down, I'll say, I'll need to talk to you after class. So you don't have to censor yourself. Do you understand? Well, censor yourself in far, as far as we're in public, but <laughs> you don't have to stop from asking, being concerned you're gonna take class time up because that's my job. My job is to keep the class going. Your job is to ask questions and to do work. All right. So I think that's probably enough for today. Uh, yeah, we're on time. So if anybody needs to hang out after class for any reason, uh, feel free. Otherwise, you are set to go. If you haven't done the practice scan thing yet, please do that as soon as possible. Work through that first module. 
Okay. Um, we have not started talking about stuff out of the textbook yet. So um, we'll do that tomorrow. Also tomorrow, definitely try to get through some of that 0.5 review work. That's one of the assignments up there and come with questions tomorrow. So we'll do that first thing tomorrow. All right, so let me know if you need to hang out. Otherwise, you are free to go. And congratulations to those of you who have survived your first lecture. Uh, what's up, Amon? Yeah, uh, do we need the calculator, the size or the number or something like that? Yeah, so you can either have um, a TI calculator Right, TI calculator, or you could have a scientific calculator. So here's a TI graphing calculator. Ooh, they cost a lot of money. Or you can have a scientific calculator like- Can uh, I take the picture, please? Oh, the picture of this? Yes, please. Sure. Or you can just type into Google uh, okay. TI 80. So, I, mean, I mean, all of this the same, or they have number or size or something? Because this is the first time for me, so. Oh, I see, I see. So if I were you, um, what class are you taking after this? Do you know? Because Mathematic 160. All right, statistics. In summer, in summer. You probably do want to get one of these, um, a TI. You can get a TI 82, 83, or 84. And I think I say that on the syllabus. Uh, oh, but really? I okay. want you to know. Yeah, there you go. There's a. I will there's check. A yeah. Uh, if you're not taking statistics next, how many you got? Anybody taking 120 after this? Anybody? Nobody? Everybody's <laughs> taking. This is a chat. I'm sorry? I'm not sure if I understood what you said. Um, he said you have to offer to write the, this one for chat. She has maybe. I think so. Yeah, Devin, Devin wrote, there's a TI-82 yes. you can get, yes, or a TI-83, or a TI-84, if you're going to take statistics next. If you're going to take Math 120 next, and I don't know if that's anybody necessarily here right now, maybe I'll do that poll tomorrow, uh, what math you're going to take next. If you're going to take Math 120 one? next, don't best? Need a graphing calculator. Who's the best uh, teacher? <laughs> For, for statistics? Is that what you're asking? 83, 84. Oh, the best calculator. Yeah. Uh, the 82 is missing a couple of things you need for statistics, but all the teachers are cool with 82, and it's normally the cheapest one. Huh. The 84 is obviously the best one. It's like, ooh, and then you can get a TI-84 plus. Watch out. You find um, it in Best Buy or where by... Uh... Yeah, you find it everywhere. Walmart. Best Buy, Staples. Staples normally has some good sales. Uh, Walmart. Walmart, exactly. Walmart. Uh, there's a website, I think it's on my syllabus, called Rent Calculators. The last I checked, they were out of stock, though, but you could check there again. They, it's like nine bucks a month for a calculator. Um, when you buy them, it's normally around 100 bucks for the calculator, for that graphic calculator. And you need it for statistics. So that's why I say you might as well get it now to get used to it before you take statistics. If you're not no, going to, I would say don't get it. Get a just a normal scientific calculator. Come on, what's up? Yeah, so this 80, 82, 84, this I will need it. You have idea about the uh, Mathematic 160 to yes, buy it? Math 160. Oh, okay. You're going to need a PI 82, 83, or 84. So um, this is three the same? Or the, the size just the different or something? The 82 is missing a couple of things, mm -hmm. but you could work around that. The 83 is probably the one, it's the one that's got everything you need and it's, and it's a little cheaper than the 84. Uh, and the 84 is the top of the line, you know, watch out. Um, okay, watch out. <laughs> but any of those, 82, 83, 84, that'll work for 160, yep. How's everybody else, you guys all right? Professor Waller? Yes. Is there any other assignments besides uh, the 0.5 that we should do? That, that's the most immediate thing. Uh, like I said, we haven't even started lecturing over chapter one yet, but I've okay. got the one, one through one, four assignments with due dates in Canvas. Uh, so you can kind of look ahead if you want to okay. um, and start. Or the thing to focus on is the 0.2 practice scan and the 0.5 review uh, uh, 
problems. Okay. And is the homework typically due at the end of the week, like all at the same time, or is it before class every day? Due dates are in Canvas. So um, let me see. I do at the fifth. Here, let me show you. There's a few different ways you can see due dates. Let me become a student. Do you see this to-do list? Mm -hmm. so first log in, you can see the to-do list and see how they have the due dates. Yeah, yeah. The due times even, yeah. Okay. So the practice awesome. plan is due tonight. So, I mean, if you haven't, if anybody hasn't done that, you want to do that. And then the, I made the 0.5 review due this Friday just because, but I would get it done very soon if you can, so you can ask questions. Um, everybody with me? And then we haven't even gotten it in chapter one yet, but these are due uh, over this uh, weekend and then into next week. Awesome. Cool. Okay, thank you. Bye. Bye, guys. Anybody else have any questions? You guys all right? I have a question. Um, yeah. How many times are we allowed to correct our papers? Uh, you can correct everything once, except for the final which is appropriately named. So uh, if you watch the syllabus overview thing uh, video, I talk about corrections in one section. The syllabus it says everything. You can correct everything once. So if I, on homework, if I say correct, that means correct mistakes. If I say redo, that means redo it. And then you can get back up to full credit. On quizzes and the midterm, you can make corrections to those. And I explain how that works on the syllabus. Okay, thank you. Not in, and this is not English class, so you don't get a first draft, second draft, third draft. You get one shot at every correction. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. How's everybody else? What's up? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. I'll see you tomorrow. We'll do it again. Everybody else okay? I'm going to head out. Let's see. So you can get a scientific. You can, sure. Why not, Devin? Uh, especially if you're going to take 160 next. Uh, if you're not going to take 160 next, if you're going to take 120, you really don't need a TI calculator. You can just get a, oh, I'm sorry. That's what you're asking. You can yeah, get, like would it, would it be as good as like the TIs or? A scientific calculator is all you need um, for this course and for 120. Uh, if you're going to take 160, which is statistics, you probably want to get a TI just to get used to it. Okay, gotcha. Okay. You guys all right? Everybody else? All right, I'm going to head out if I don't see any questions. See you guys tomorrow. See you. Thank you, Professor. Thank you. Wait, Thank I have you. a question. Yeah, what's up? Oh, so I just purchased an e textbook. And uh, I don't know, like, how to uh, view it. Like, does it... Got it over Amazon? Uh, I think it's on, yeah, over Amazon and uh, on e-textbook, like, do I get like, uh, like an email or? I got mine. So did you, I'm, I'm assuming, I think they only do it over, um, what do you call it, Jeff? Kindle, right? Kindle. Okay. So I'm, uh, you're going to, if you don't have the Kindle app, you're going to need to get it. But normally when you purchase it, it'll send it to whatever Kindle device you have registered. So Oh, okay. Yeah, because all right, because I use my girlfriend's account because she has Prime. So I'm gonna have oh, to yeah. like get it figured out with her. Uh oh, all right. She might but be able that's to share all your if you download the Kindle app, you might be able to log into her um her account. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Sweet. But, so ask her if she could see the book on yeah. her account. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Sounds good. Thank you. All right, guys. Come on, you're good. I'm out of here. Bye.